Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys what we got for our four-year-old little boy. He is in preschool right now. I do want to apologize for the lighting in here. It is raining outside, so it's super overcast, so I have lights up. But I did a, um, a post over on Instagram and here on YouTube, and I asked you guys if you guys would want to see what we had purchased for our kiddos, and some of you guys said yes. So I wanted to jump on here and show you guys what we got. If you haven't already checked out my other video, I have it up on my channel, and it is of my daughter's gifts. And then tomorrow, I will be posting one of my nieces. I wanted to go ahead and do that just because I know some of you guys are following here for junior high curriculum. So I thought that we can do that. So my sister was kind enough to lend me her daughter's gifts or some of them just to show you guys some ideas. So with all that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see here. So we have a little bit of like educational and a little bit of just plain good old fun. So the first thing I want to show you guys is I got this from Learning Resources. This is the Coding Critters. It comes with 22 pieces. It's a storybook coding adventure. So there's the little doggy. Um, it shows what it comes with in the back. And I'm so sorry about that glare, you guys. I really am sorry. I just don't know what to do about it. So it comes with all of these pieces, including the book, and it's gonna tell you what to do and you're gonna do it along with these little pieces here. So I thought that this would be really fun for him. So it is for four and older and it's easy to use. You press for play mode. It just looks really cute. And my son loves animals. So I'm hoping he likes this. That I actually purchased through Amazon, even though it's learning resources, but you could get it from either. I will go ahead and put the links down below if I can. I'm sorry, I keep seeing a bird. It's sitting out there on my kid's slide. <laughs> It's a blue jay. So it's catching my attention because it keeps like flapping its wings because it's been raining. Oh my gosh, so cute, it flew away. Okay, so anyways, sorry. So I picked up this pink fong baby shark. It's a game. It is four, what's the ages here? Three plus. And it says, get your friends to the party game. So I got this from Big Lots. It was $10. These are the parts that come in it. I'm sorry again about that glare. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. So the point of this game is basically get the mom and the dad and the baby to the little coral party before the storm comes in. So it's gonna be working with this number dice. So, you know, counting, we could even incorporate colors. I just thought it'd be fun. And my son absolutely is loving games right now. So I got him this that we decided to get my son is this Osmo Little Genius Starter Kit. My daughter already has one and she loves it and he loves playing on electronics. So any way that I can incorporate an electronic with learning, that is a win for me, you guys. So when I saw that Osmo was having a huge sale, I jumped on it and got both the kids Osmo stuff. So. This is their starter kit. It's for, um, let's see, Early Math Adventure. It has six games. It's for ages three to five. This set here comes with the base and the reflector, six um, game apps, 38 silicone sticks and rings, 19 costume pieces, one play mat, and then two storages. So little storage containers that the pieces can actually go in. So I'm really excited about this. I hope that he loves it. If you guys are, um, I'm sorry, I fixed my glasses. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, my son has a bit of a speech delay. So we have been really trying to work with him on that. And I'm hoping that some interactive play in this way where this little guy talks to him and tells him things that he will be able to incorporate and be able to figure out piecing together different words. So this I'm really hoping that he loves. So another thing that we got him for his Osmo is the Osmo Monster. It's an actual drawing game and he basically tells you what to draw and then he draws it with these markers. So these are the different markers that comes with the pack. And then it comes with this little wash 
like a little um, cloth, but it's actually a bag as well to keep the markers in. And then this one also, I believe, comes with the mat. Now my son does not need the mat because he already has the mat in the other pack and my daughter has the mat. So I will go ahead and see if my sister needs this, if she doesn't have one. Um, that way she'll have one as well. So this is just the mat. Um, let me see if I could open it for you guys. I'm opening it because he won't care. He won't know the difference that I opened up his stuff. Um, so here it is. So here, uh oh, what's that? Oh, okay. So this is the mat that it comes with um, for them to do the drawing on because with the reflector that comes in his actual starter kit, it will reflect off of this and into the app or into the iPad so that it'll be able to read it and know what he's drawing. So it's really, really cool. My daughter has one and I know I could share it, but I just don't want to run, in, run into the problem of not knowing who had the game last or where it is or, you know, anything like that. So sometimes it's just better for them to have their own. So then there's no arguing or fighting. One less argument, you guys, you know how that is like, it's just, it makes life easier sometimes, you know? So I'm all about making life easy. And so that's where we're at with that. So we got him this. So we're hoping he loves it. You guys checked out my um, nine-year-old's gift guide or gift that we got. I don't know what to call it, but um, the gifts that we got her, you know that she plays Fortnite with her cousins and her uncles and my son loves watching them play. So the last season, I wanna say they call it on Fortnite, was all about um, the, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank, you guys. Marvel, they were all about like Marvel characters. So Iron Man was in it and so was Wolverine. So I had to get him these, you guys. I think I got them at Ross or Burlington. So you can get them at on Amazon as well. I did see them on there, but here is Iron Man and here is Wolverine because he loves them, you guys. And so when I saw these, they were next to more characters. So I saw Batman, had to get it. Okay, and his uncle also plays as, he's like dressed up as Batman in Fortnite, one of his uncles, so I had to get it, you know, because he, he knows Batman because his uncle dresses up in it in Fortnite, so. And then here is Spider-Man, because Spider-Man is Spider-Man, and he loves one of the Spider-Man movies, so I thought that he would have fun with these just playing around with them. Again, if you guys have seen my video for my daughter's gift guide, you know that she already has a Nintendo Switch from her uncle, one of her uncles. Um, and my son uses it and he's only allowed to use it while it's in its base because we are afraid that he's gonna break it and they always argue over it. But it's really my daughter, so we feel really bad. And we went back and forth about getting him one of these because they are really expensive and he's so young. But you guys, he loves playing with it. So we got him a Switch and it's upside down because that's what I do all the time. Um, but we got him the switch. This does come with the base because the less that he has it in his hands, the less likely it is going to break. So we purchased his um, through GameStop, I wanna say GameStop online. And it's just the basic red and blue because that's what his sister's is. So we tried to keep it the same. Um, so we got him a switch, you guys. He loves playing the switch. To go along with the switch, we went ahead and got him headphones because the girls all have headphones to use when they're on it, they talk to each other on it, and when they're playing certain games and playing together, they can talk and tell them where they're going and stuff. So he wanted to be just like the big kids and have his own headset. He wears his sister sometimes. So we went ahead and got him his own. It comes with a microphone um, that goes up and down. So when he's not using it, he could just flip it into the little earpiece here and it won't bother him. So this we purchased through Amazon. This is by Hunter Spider. I think it like lights up here. They're pretty good headphones. My daughter has a pair and so do two of my nieces. 
Okay, so I went to Target the other day and I was with my sister, I believe. Yes, I was with my sister, we were at Target and I was looking for things for my son. My son's kind of picky. He doesn't like playing with a whole lot of toys, mostly like building things and he'll play with his figurines sometimes, that's why I got him those figurines. But um, I was trying to find something hands-on, something for school, cause he gets bored. And I saw this Seek and Find. This is a flashlight um, book. It's by Chuckle and Roar. It's for ages three plus. You guys, I have to show you guys this. This was like a genius idea. I just love this. If I could get it, I'm just gonna have to take the plastic off, I think. Okay, so in the book, you, in the back, you're gonna have these two flashlights. They're different sizes, okay? So let's use the bigger one. I love that these are on strings just so that the kids don't lose them. And again, I'm sorry for the, the glare. You're gonna have a bit of a glare. Now on each page, there's a little slip on the side, okay, right here. And they're just going to stick the flashlight in to the slip for the page. And then over on the left-hand side here, it says that they are gonna be looking for the golden seahorse, two crabs, three yellow fishes, and then these 10 items. So where's the seahorse? So they're gonna look for, there's the seahorse right there. Isn't that so cute though, you guys? They have um, all different scenes for each page. Let's go camping and explore the woods. Um, what are you seeing at the museum? Let's see, let's explore with friends in space. And that's it. But isn't that so cute? This is the front cover. I just love it. I think that he'll have fun doing this like while we're doing school with the girls. I think that he would just sit down and look through this. I'll sit with him and um, or my sister will. And I just I thought that this would be really fun. So I know that this is a major win. So just genius ideas. You know what I'm saying? So this is really cute. Got here is another game. This is the blues, clues, and use. This says find the clues blue left for you around her house. So this was ten dollars. I got it from Big Lots as well. Like I said, my son loves games right now, so I'm hoping he enjoys this one. It's about finding clues, so problem solving, and this is for three plus. So I'm hoping he likes that. Again, I got that from Big Lots, but you can probably find those on um, Amazon or something like that. Don't mind me, you guys. I have boxes. I have them in boxes just in case. Well, I hide them in the garage in boxes. But my kids, if they come out, they can't see because they're in the box. So if I keep turning, I'll try to edit most of it out. But if I keep turning my back to you and bending down and stuff, see my chairs right here? Um, that's what I'm doing. So the next thing I got for him was this Learning Resources Avalanche Fruit Stand. It's for three plus ages, or I'm sorry, it's for ages three plus and it's for two to four players. And it's really cool. So you stack up the fruits here and then you spin and it tells you what you need to take out or how many and you're hoping to not have everything fall, I believe. It takes a steady hand to keep the fruit on this stand. Spin the spinner, use the tweezers to carefully pick a matching fruit of the fruit stand, off the fruit stand. Watch out, don't start an avalanche. So that is gonna be so exciting. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he doesn't get mad when they fall because he gets really frustrated when things like move or fall or don't go the way he wants them to go. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't frustrate him. But I thought that this would be really good for like hand-eye coordination, motor skills, things like that. And kind of thinking too, problem solving to know, okay, if I pull this one out, is it all gonna fall out? You know what I mean? So I hope that this is a good one. I thought for school, a lot of these items I get for him for school just because we're schooling most of the day with the girls. So having him busy and be able to be out here with us because he'll go and watch movies or, you know, play on his iPad. He does have some games on there um, and um, or he'll play Switch and stuff like that. And he'll come out and do school with us. But I really want him to be with us more and doing more schoolwork like this type of stuff, not actual schoolwork. As you guys saw that I got my son a Nintendo Switch. I was really worried about him trying to use the handheld and dropping it. Now it is one that goes in the base, like I said, so most of the time he'll be playing it in its base. 
but I was still worried, you know, just in case he wants to start holding on to it and playing. So I did find one of these hard shell case covers and I got his in red and I don't know, I'm hoping it works really well. When I saw the reviews and stuff, it seemed pretty good. And they say that they can keep it in this and slide it onto the dock as is. So we shall see if it really works. Um, again, I got it from Amazon. It's by Rugged Hybrid and it's a protective case. So I will try to link whatever I can down below for you guys to make it easier if you guys see something you want. Like I said to you guys earlier that he has a little bit of a speech delay. So I saw this sentence flips. I thought that it would really be a good thing for him because he doesn't really have a problem saying words. It's harder for him to piece words together. So into sentences. So what this is, is it's, um, let's see, sentence flips, flip words to build sentences. This is by Junior Learning. So it'll have a noun, a verb, a preposition, and then another noun. Oh man, that glare, I'm sorry, and I can't open this. So it's basically like, okay, so the frog swam across the pool. So that will help him recognize how, how these work together. So I thought that this would be really helpful. Again, this is from Amazon. These are some fun items just for play. I got him the Incredibles game for Switch. His sister actually has this game and he loves it, you guys. He loves this game. So again, this is for Nintendo Switch. I purchased it, I wanna say from Amazon as well. We also got him the Jurassic Park Lego. He loves dinosaurs, so I'm assuming he'll love this one because it's Legos as well. There's the back there. Again, Nintendo Switch and from Amazon. The last one we got for him is um, Paw Patrol on a Roll. He doesn't really watch Paw Patrol that much, but he has in the past and he knows who they are. And when I looked up the reviews for this, it said that it's really easy um, for kids his age to do it on his own. And there's problem solving and everything in this. So I thought that it would be really fun for him. Again, this is Amazon Nintendo Switch. So again, when I was at Target with my sister, I found this cool little game. It's Count Your Chickens board game. Anything, like I said, with learning is awesome. And we're trying not to do a whole lot of like sit down schooling with him, not really writing with him and stuff like that. We're just playing, learning by play. Um, so I thought that this would be really good for counting. So I picked this one up for him. And I wanna say that this was on sale. So this is for um, three plus, two to four players and takes about 15 minutes, it says, to play the game. So this is by, um, let's see, Peaceable Kingdom. Again, this is at Target, or I could try to link it down below from Amazon. So the last two things that I purchased for him, these are from Ross, and I found these little um, puzzle pieces. So this is the ABC, so it has a picture, and then the letter, and then the word. So I thought again that this would be really good for um, speech as well. So we got him this. This is for three to six years old. It has 26 self-correcting puzzle sets teaching the alphabet. This is by The Learning Journey. Again, I got it from Ross. So I picked that one up and then there is one for spelling. So it's again, the little puzzle pieces. It's for four to seven years old. It's 20 self correcting puzzle sets. So it'll show the picture and then how to spell it. So when you piece it together, you're piecing it by the picture basically, but then they're being able to see how it's spelt. So this again is from The Learning Journey. Again, I got it from Ross. It was only $4.99 for this one and the other one, which is not bad at all. And I lied to you. So I have one more thing to show you guys, and this is actually going into his stocking, but I thought it was so cool and I had to show you, especially you homeschooling mamas out there, like this is so cool. So I was at the Dollar Tree a few weeks back and this was just laying on the end cap, there was no other ones next to it, but it is a little dentist kit. How perfect is this to teach your kiddo like the importance of brushing your teeth and how to brush your teeth and how to floss and I just thought it was so cute, you guys. 
has like this little mouth with teeth that comes with a toothbrush. Now what I'm probably going to do is because this toothbrush is hard plastic, I'm probably going to use a real toothbrush and have him brush the mouth, the teeth and the tongue. Uh, there is no tongue. Oh wait, it's on this side. It isn't? Yeah, that's okay. It goes this way, you guys. That's the tongue right there and that's the roof of the mouth. I was confused. Um, but just to teach him because I still brush his teeth. I do he he'll hold his toothbrush. We have an electric toothbrush. So he'll like hold it, but he won't really brush his teeth. So I brush his teeth still. But just to kind of like get him used to brushing on his own, I thought that this would be fun. So there's that. And that's it, you guys. I have a couple other little things that are coming for him, but they're still not here. They're in the mail. I got him, um, like I said in my other video, I'm not sure if you watched it on my daughter's gifts, but I got her a baby Yoda. So, because we've been watching Mandalorian and he doesn't really watch it with us, but he'll kind of glance at it and be playing, doing his own thing. Um, so he knows who baby Yoda is and he's so into stuffed animals right now. Like he sleeps with a million stuffed animals, you guys, which my daughter wasn't, well, I guess she was into it, but maybe when she was a little older, she only had a few that she really liked. And then she's, okay, anyways, off topic. So, um, I found like this little, little stuffed Yoda. I got that for him because I got her one. So hers is bigger, but just so they both have one. Cause you know, having two kids, you want to try to keep things as equal. Um, but yeah, so that's it. You guys, I hope that this was enjoyable and useful. And I hope that you guys enjoyed spending this time with me today. I'm sorry. I couldn't get these videos out to you guys earlier. I was waiting for items to still come. And then homeschooling life has just been so busy and all I have is the weekends. The husband works so much, you know, my husband's always working. So, you know, just trying to find the time and, um, yeah. So I wish it came out to you guys earlier. I'm sorry about that, but better late than never. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you got your kiddos. Do you guys get them educational gifts? Am I a boring mom for throwing in so many educational gifts? Um, and yeah, tell me what the best gift that you got your son this year was and what else? I think that's it. So be blessed, be safe, and I hope to see you back on my channel very soon. All right, you guys. Bye.